way. Yeah. Don't do to Amanda Seals. You got to get diagnosed. I, I think, I'm not sure I, if I am overstepping, sorry, but you did mention that you also are uh, autistic. Um, yeah, we all autistic. I, I tell people all the time, I think all of us got a little bit of... A little bit of that issue. A little, yeah. little bit of something. Help. To be like, we all got a little bit of that sh is hella dismissive. It invalidates the person's diagnosis and takes away from everything that comes with the diagnosis. Many of us have to mourn the person that we thought that we once were. We have to come to this accepting of the person that we are learning ourselves to be. Is doing what many of us Black people know of, oh, ain't nothing wrong with you. And that's just, why do we do that? Why is that so necessary to do? And... The way the questioning was set up, you can see what, what the way they followed up with that question, it wasn't from a place of wanting to be educated. It was from a, what makes you think that, 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 that something's wrong with you? And even going with that, and I'm using those words in particular, because again, it's a very black saying of ain't nothing wrong with you. And to even generalize it and to make the person feel like they don't need therapy or that there is nothing wrong with the way that they're wired, they're wired just like everybody else, they diminish it and say, we all got a little something. How do you expect someone that's autistic? to ever feel comfortable with having that conversation with you if you can't have the conversation without laughing. And surely you don't want to have the conversation without including us. And we often find ourselves excluded from the conversation. It's people talking about us around us, but not to us. It's people using autism as an insult. It's people only wanting to speak about it in that lens. And it's the lens of the things that hold me back, the things that I struggle with versus what I'm capable of doing and what I succeed at. If I were in that same seat, if I were sitting there in a room full of essentially strangers asking me on the spot when I'm there to talk about my music, about something personal like that, and I get it, it, it may be seen in the public eye as free space or something that you can question because this person has brought it up before in an interview or they brought it up when no one else asked them about it. So since you made it knowledgeable, since you made it public knowledge, I can ask you about it. That, I, I get that. That's fine. But... We don't treat anything else that way. So if a person tells you that, you're, that they're, they go to therapy or that they have a therapist, you don't follow up. Oh, what do you talk about to your therapist? You don't ask those type of questions because you respect those boundaries and that privacy. It seems like there, there's a level of, I just can't take this ish seriously when we talk about autism in the black community. But tell me your opinion. Sound off in the comments below and let me know what you think. How would you have handled it if you were in that position? I know that I would freeze up in the moment because my sixth sense would tell me that if they weren't trying to have that that conversation in a validating way, but in a way that was, ah, uh, nigga, you know, ain't nothing wrong with you. And that's exactly what it would have been. And nah. If I am overstepping, sorry, but you did mention that you also are uh, autistic. Um, we all autistic. I'm discovering things about myself and making sure that I'm educated on them before I like. Before you label it. Yes. Don't do the You gotta get diagnosed. No, you gotta. <laughs> actually don't. No. No. Uh, but it does help if you have help as okay. far as understanding your challenges. Cause I, t I tell people all the time, I think all of us got a little bit of- A little bit of that shit. A little, yeah. little bit of something. Yeah. 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 As always, thank you for watching. And if this is your first time here, why not stick around, subscribe, watch some more videos. YouTube thinks you'll like this one right here. And this one right here.